and welcome back. I'm Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher, here on YouTube and Instagram. And this is my channel about cross-stitch and sometimes knitting, but just stitching today. And we are back here for another short little daily video for Flossmas Day 22. We're getting so close. I'm only doing these through the 24th. So this is it. We're in the home stretch of Flossmas. It's been really fun celebrating uh, every day, but there's only a couple more left, so cheers. Today's little cocktail for my homemade, not really homemade, but self-made uh, cocktail advent calendar is this 19 Crimes. This is a fun, uh, a fun little line of wine. I've had some of theirs before, but at least there used to be, I don't know if there still is, but there used to be like an app and you could scan the label and it would like move. So, you know, that's, that's fun. <laughs> I'm all for the little marketing gimmicks. You get me, you'll get me with the little marketing gimmicks or a pretty label. That's just a decent little red wine. All right. So let's jump in with what I've worked on in uh, the past day since I uh, was here with you last. For Whip Wranglers, I was working on Without a Mouse. This is the second time this one's been rolled. I only needed 100 stitches, so it's not going to look like much. But I did plug away some more on that big old pumpkin house. So this is where I got to on that. This is on a 32 count uh, linen in cauldron by Picture This Plus, which seriously, I love. I love this colorway of fabric. It's so great. Uh, and I'm stitching it with um, Witching Hour, Gentle Arts Witching Hour. All one color. So just got some more work in on that house. It was really quick, easy stitching back and forth, back and forth. So that one's now done. That is, that is fully wrangled. And next up, I rolled the dice again. And next up will be Weatherwise by Prairie Schooler. So hopefully I'll get some stitching done on that this evening. And then... For 12 days of Christmas stitching, I had my start on Pomegranate Santa. This is what, this is what the wheel picked. So Pomegranate Santa by Plum Street Samplers. I am not stitching the reindeer in this field of snow. Um, it's great. I just, it looks great, but I just really want the Santa with the big old pomegranates pulling the tree, and then it's just going to be less to stitch. <laughs> So I'm just doing from there up. I had this all kitted up with a 36 count. I clearly got it from uh, Kitten Stitcher. 36 count driftwood. This is a color in cotton linen. I'm using called for colors except for the white. I didn't have whatever the white called for, so I'm using color in cotton chai instead that I just pulled from stash and this is my little, my little tiny start up in the left-hand corner is some leaves. <laughs> some leaves on that first big pomegranate. Uh, cute the little needle minder from Abby Topknot. And I love this fabric. I love the color of this fabric. It has on this end one of my failed starts on uh, Metamorphosis. <laughs> I'll pick it out someday, but today is not that day. Uh, I just flipped it to the other end. So there we go. So that's start on Pomegranate Santa, and I'll work some more on that tonight. And then uh, tomorrow we'll start stitching Book Club Christmas Carol. Unless, for some reason, that fabric from Brandy shows up in the mail. I don't hold out much hope, and I'm not worried about it anyway. Mm. I did get a fun package uh, today from Acorn and Threads. So... The way it kind of works with acorn and threads, well, for me, the way it works, <laughs> and if you're kind of a local, this is how it works. If there's something you need and you call them, they have it, you can order it, they'll ship it to you right away. I tend to email them when I want to get something, but I'm not in a big hurry for it, and they just put it in my bag. They have a bag for all their regular customers, and then uh, you can call and say, hey, clean out my bag, and they charge it to you and ship it to you. I, I used to be down there once a month, so I would just get the stuff out of my bag when I was down there. But now I call and say, send me whatever's in the bag because I was calling them and paying them for uh, 
acorn gathering in January, which is a little weekend that they typically do at the shop. It's it's not really a retreat because it's at the shop, but it is like a small little gathering, a one day thing with a fun project that of course is going to be virtual this year, but I still wanted to attend. So I was calling to pay for that and told me to tell them to send the stuff in my bag. So let's see what's in here. Uh, I picked up Heartstring Samplery, the gobbler, because seriously, how did I not have this turkey riding a horse? I mean, that's brilliant, right? And then this uh, from Plum Street. I mean, I all know my obsession with Paul Stewart. This good company is exclusive to acorns and threads. So, and I, it comes as a kit and I'm pretty sure the only way to get it as a kit is as a kit. I could be wrong about that. Just call it, I will include the phone number and email for Acorns and Threads below. Uh, they don't have a website you can shop at, but they are the most wonderful, helpful uh, people there. If you just give them a call, tell them what you need. But this I know is exclusive to their shop. So, uh, and look how cute it is. It just has the year on it, but that little fox in the tree, I mean, come on. But I'm pretty sure it was only sold as a kit because it came like that with the fabric and all the weak dye works, all the over dyed flosses and the DMC. So that is all ready to go. Love that. This, of course, like everybody else, I'd had my eye on since it was a retreat piece last year. So when it came out, I said, put it in the bag and kit it up. I think that there are still a couple flosses missing that they told me they didn't have it at the time. That's fine. Not worry about it. I'll get them eventually because I don't know when I'm going to start that, but Winter Rose Manor, it's a big pink house with a cardinal and a beautiful floral border. Sold. Sold. And then this, <laughs> I tried to get this for to sell along with Candace Kay's birthday. Candace started this for her birthday. If you're not watching her, you should totally watch her. Fantastic. Fun floss tube, great stitching, amazing knitting. She's one of the people I go to all the time with my knitting questions and is so sweet and patient with me. But she was starting this chart for her birthday and I said, I've always wanted to stitch that chart. It's so gorgeous. I'll start it with you. And then it was sold out everywhere. Uh, Acorns ordered it in special for me. I didn't get it in time for her birthday. I'm sorry, Candace. You're not going to finish this, right? You're not going to finish this this year. We can start it. I can start it for your birthday next year, right? It's uh, Woodland Wonder. <sighs> I just love that. I love those trees and the big old antlers. And they got me all the beads and Krynek to go with it. The rest of it's just DMC. You know, other than all the sparkly beads and crying. And I have a piece of fabric that I think, think is gonna work great for it, so. But now I don't know when I'm gonna start it because it didn't come in time for Candace's birthday. I don't know, anybody else been dying to start that? Wanna sell it? <laughs> you know, maybe your half birthday. Maybe Candace's half birthday. Okay, so the giveaway today, when I think acorns and threads, one of the things that I think of is Mill Hill kits. And for anybody that's been there, they know probably why I think that. When you use the restroom at Acorns and Threads, the walls are covered with Mill Hill flyers of all their kits. And I sit there and look and like make up a little wish list of Mill Hill kits. So in honor of all of those local needle workshops that are not really local to us because let's face it acorns is like two and a half hours from my house but i think of them as my local shop for all of you who have those type of local shops maybe place an order call acorns they're so wonderful or keepsakes or whatever those non-local lns's <laughs> I think we want to keep them in business. We really want to keep them in business through this pandemic. So I'm going to be giving away this little Mill Hill kit. And um, it's another one of those Jim Shore. It's like, it's the full unopened kit. I love this little kitty wearing a Santa hat. I really want to stitch him. I don't know when I would ever get around to him. Look at those little rosy cheeks. Okay, so if you would like a chance to win this, 
you're gonna use the word kitty in the comment. So please be 18, uh, don't say giveaway, and fill out the Happy Mail Google form. Use the word kitty and you will be entered to win this. I will ship anywhere, but not after until, not until after the first of the year. We're gonna give, we're gonna give the Postal Service a, a chance to kinda catch up and clear out after the holidays. So, so you have, you have a little bit of time. Uh, to enter. So that's the giveaway today. Let's open some advents. Gotta shift things around. Okay. First one is David's Tea. I've not had that pomegranate one yet. Pomegranate Santa. I need to have it, right? I need to have it while I'm stitching on pomegranate Santa. Sorry, I have an eyelash. It just really wants to go into my eyeball. Okay. Day 22. We're down to the last couple teas. So sad seeing these boxes get empty, but it's been so fun. Oh, this one is Sleigh Ride. It's called Sleigh Ride. And it's another one that's got like little crystallized stuff in there. Let's see. Let's look at the back and see what's in there. Because the, the name does not really, does not really give it away what's in Sleigh Ride Tea. I gotta find it. Oh, it's a fruit infusion. So there's no, there's no actual tea in there. Uh, and it's caffeine free. But it's got some apple and candied, oh, that's candied pineapple, and beetroot and cinnamon, raisins, popped rice. That's, that's going to be interesting. Okay, sleigh ride. That's the tea for today. And then in the yarn advent from Daydream Dye Works, I'm going to open this little bag up and see what kind of, what color the yarny goodness comes in today. Ooh, oh, look at that. It's like, it's a more like white base with just a lot of pops of little color. That's really fun. I like that lime green and the teal together. That's pretty. Okay. Last one is Nice List from Black Needle Society. And I think we all know what this is going to be, right? It's in one of these little boxes. This is going to be the floss for Michelle's chart. Let's see. Let's see what her color palette is. Ooh. Oh, she did not disappoint. And it's color and cotton. Okay, wait, I'm going to grab the... And one of them is called Dracula. I feel like that's so Michelle. Okay, look how good that is. Oh, that's a dark blue, dark indigo. Those are some good colors. Okay, let's see. Let's scratch off, see if this is all of them. We're gonna, all hand dyed flosses called for by Bendy Stitchy for her design. We'll see though what that is tomorrow, but I'm loving the color palette. All right, that's all for today. Hope everybody's having a great start to the week and gets to have some time off this week or at least for Christmas and I'll be back tomorrow one of the last couple days. Cheers!